Hello and welcome to Blender Bite Size. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this material procedurally in Blender. Feeling lazy? You can support this channel and skip the hard work by grabbing the blend file for this material from Gumroad for just a pound. Feeling flush? Feel free to throw some of that coin my way using the coffee link in the description below the video. So creating a fumed glass or a smoked glass look is actually surprisingly easy, easy and needs not that many nodes. So we're going to give it a go right now. We're in the shading tab. We're going to enable viewport shading using the cycles render engine and I have a principled shader already applied. Now I am going to increase the metallic to one and drop everything else. Actually, no, the roughness I am going to increase to 0 0.05. And yeah, we'll leave it at that for now. Now, to get the glass, we are going to use a glass shader. And to connect that up, we need a mix shader. So I'm pressing Shift A to search for both of those and then just selecting them according to uh, whatever I find. Now Shift A and we also need a layer weight node. We're going to set that to 0.15 and we're going to use the facing value from that to plug into the uh, factor of the mix shader. Right now Back over on this side, we need a texture coordinate, a noise texture, and a color ramp. Connecting the object from the texture coordinate to the vector of the noise texture, factor from the noise texture into the factor of the color ramp, and then the color from the color ramp we are actually going to plug into the alpha, which controls transparency. So you can see already we've got a transparent orb with all the reflections that we need going on. Now on the noise texture, the scale we're going to put at 1 with detail of 15, roughness of 0.9 and distortion of 10. We're going to change the interpolation mode on the color ramp to ease bring this uh, black value in just a smidge and a smidge in decimal is 0 0.05 I believe and we're also going to crank that right up in value so just a reminder that's the value to let's say 0.8 maybe a little bit less 0.7 Let's go with that for now and see how this works out. And then for the base color, we're going to change that to a nice strong goldy color. Because basically fumed glass is where you um, heat up metal so that the gases evaporate from it. At the same time, you're heating up glass so that those fumes and that metal adheres to the surface of the glass. So let's go with that. And then we're going to change the distribution mode on the glass shader to GGX. Leave the roughness where it is and the index for refraction. And I'm actually going to change this color to quite an intense purple. And the reason for this, hopefully you can make this out, is it's kind of giving us this nice sort of shadowy halo around the outside. Which is controlled by the layer weight node. So it kind of gives you the illusion that um, there's different levels of transparency and translucency going on. And believe it or not, that is your entire node tree created for fumed glass. 
So let's send that to render and see how we get on. Uh, as I said, using the cycles render engine, thousand samples. Mm, I could increase the light paths and stuff, but to be honest, it's just going to add to the processing power needed. So I think I'm just going to go with it as it is and see how we get on. And there we have our fused, uh, fumed glass material. So you can see it's kind of patchy, which was the purpose of the noise texture. And that's what you would get when you're using vaporized uh, metals or evaporated metals. You know what I mean? Uh, to coat a glass surface and you wouldn't get a solid metallic um, coating so it would still be quite translucent which is why you've got sort of various refractions and reflections going on as well so i hope you've enjoyed that and will find it useful uh, please remember to give the video a thumbs up and of course subscribe for future content in the meantime thanks for watching mm -hmm.